Hello everyone, my name is Kevin. Welcome back to WWE 2K19 Championship Scramble. Today we're going for the WWE Championship from 1998 to 2002 in an elimination chamber with the Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels. 97 Shawn Michaels to be exact. Low blow, that sounds about right for Shawn Michaels, yeah. Um, let's see. Go against him. Brian Danielson, yes. Makes sense, because he trained him. Okay, let's go with... Uh, let's go with Diesel. Diesel fits. Jesse, shut up about the WCW bullshit. <laughs> Um, Zack Daddy, yeah. No, I'm just kidding, not Zack Ryder. That's what he calls himself, actually, sir. Undertaker 02. One half of the tag, one of the tag team championships. I can't just say half of the tag team championships because there's a lot of championships I've gone for on this. Let's see, how about... I don't think I'm going with him for anything, am I? Nope, doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like I've gone for anything with him. Let's go make sure he hasn't won anything. If he was in any of the other matches. He was he did not. Triple H01. Why are you calling me a jerk for this? Alright, let's see who else. Let's not put Scott Hall in this. Let's... Do you have a problem? He was still alive. He may not have been wrestling. He may have been, I don't remember, but... He he's Roddy Piper. Do you really give a shit? Yeah, I do. And finally, because I don't think he's got one. Finally, Matt Hardy. I don't think he's won anything on this either. Singles-wise, at least. Nope. No. Two people... I'm putting two people in this that should have won the damn championship. Mr. Perfect and Rowdy Roddy Piper. Will they actually win it? Well, we're not. I'm not sure. Potentially. Obviously, both of them can't win it. Potentially, one of them could win this. That is a pretty stellar-looking lineup right there. What? Why are you staring at me? What? Where? For over 16 years, this structure has right. hosted WWE's The Undertaker's in the pod. Warriors. You gone and made a big mistake. Okay. There's only going to be one I'm in a pod. Woohoo. My hat is off to every competitor brave enough to even consider entering the elimination chamber. Wait for it. And his opponents. First, from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 227 pounds. Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh. This is what I'm talking about. Look who's in the house! Oh, Diesel's in the pod. And from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 317 pounds. Mr. Perfect just is also. Perfect. Wait. From is that the fourth? No, no, he's in the pod too. So Triple H and Rowdy Piper are starting, and Rowdy Rowdy Piper are starting this. If I've done my math correctly. This sadistic brainchild of Eric Bischoff has determined champions, set WrestleMania main events, and settled a lot of grudges. Weighing in at 200. Got me. Guys, I was in the arena when the Elimination Chamber debuted in 2002, and somehow this structure. No one cares that you're in the arena, Michael Cole, when this chamber de debuted in 2002. All right, let's sit back and watch a match that 
Honestly, could have made him at WrestleMania. That's it for Pipe right there. <laughs> Yes, Corey, that's some massive torque there. The Elimination Chamber is an environment that inspires human display. We are moments away from the next entrance. How can they get away with that? That's not legal. Oh my god, my right now. Entry oh, number three man. is let it be me, let it be me, let it be me, let it be, damn it! Mr. Perfect. Cause. More than 15 years, the Elimination Chamber has terrorized WWE superstars. I want to get rid of Mr. Golden Shovel there. You referenced one of the times a superstar was sent crashing through the glass pod during an Elimination Chamber match. There are two occasions that stand out. that are considered two of the most brutal instances a superstar was sent through the pod glass. And they both involve Y2J Chris Jericho. And I'm sure Jericho would describe them a little different than moments that stand out. Jericho crashed through the pod glass, which is supposed to be shatterproof, by the way, at the 2002 Survivor Series thanks to Kane. And then at the 2002... Boy, the time just flies, doesn't it? The Elimination Chamber is the ultimate in elimination-based combat. The Chamber... Wow, I thought he was a car. Oh, what a reverse on that spine buster. There I am. In an easy kick out. Come here, Hunter. For that. Hey. The Elimination Chamber was unleashed at the 2002 Survivor Series. Two superstars oh, got the match. Piper. Well, the remaining competitors wait in shatterproof pods. Those superstars you bastard. Match one by one every five minutes. No one, even the superstars themselves, know when they will be selected to enter the match. From yep. a competition standpoint, there are no rules inside the Elimination Chamber. Victory is achieved by pinfall or submission. When a superstar has been eliminated, the chamber door opens. Otherwise, it remains locked. The superstar who is the last one standing is the winner. Yes, that, that is how it works, Byron. Um. Okay, there we go. He's not stuck in the rope anymore. No, up there. Thank you, Sean. Michael setting it up. HBK from the top. No one does it better. This I'm not fucking with the Undertaker. Nope. During our broadcast, we discussed the importance of strategy and Where's how Triple H. No, he's over there. Make no mistake about it. When WWE no, go. The thank you. Superstars could only defeat an opponent by pinfall or submission in the ring, as opposed to going for the cover. Oh, they did change it, Jesse. Cole was just talking about it. So they did change it at some point to only in the ring. He's a long way from the three count, I can tell you that. Well, no, not, it's not like that anymore. Just it, they just did that experience. recently. But in this, it's still like that. Two. He's got plenty of gas left in the tank. That would have been a shock. Can he finish the job? It was, there we go. Just right oh, off the bat, after the suplex, he gets hit with a super kick. It's all the way for Triple H, but I ain't. I don't want to risk getting low bug. No, fuck you, Piper. No, I'm going after this dickhead. Hey, come here. He knows he's in trouble. You gotta believe Whoops. this one's over. This might be it. Oh my. Nice little kip up. The 2015 big move coming. I hit all three of them. But did he go for it too early? Oh, nasty impact. No, yeah. Kick Lisa's ass real quick. Yeah, but we'll see if it'll last. Big day dipshit. Do it. From Detroit, Michigan. Yeah. Well, he's Diesel's from uh, Detroit. Chip Kevin Nash actually is. Perfect. Mr. Perfect. Mr. Perfect. 
Got him in that sharpshooter. Yeah, he's not going to tap, though. I'm going to walk away from you, Diesel. Okay, don't come after me. Hey, hey Hunter. Oh, come on. Why are you coming after me, Taker? Oh, you son of a bitch, Mark. They want to go after you. I want to fight Triple H, but no, you're an asshole. I thought Roddy Pipe would pin him real quick. Ooh, shit. What a perfect kick out. That was a terrible kick. Oh, Mr. Perfect taps out to Roddy Piper. HP Shizzle. Oh no, I can't jump the band because Dick had me fucking Scottish fuck over here. He keeps getting in my way. Triple H stuck. Oh, he was getting ready for the pedigree. The game getting absolute might be cliche, but it's true here. Jesse, did you see that? Watch this. Oh, I forgot how bad they're freaking. All right, there we go. Uh, okay, so he throws Diesel in, and Triple H sets up for the pedigree, right here, and gets hit with a super kick. <laughs> Busted him open too. Fucker, and he kicked out because, of course, he did because he's Triple H. Him and John Cena always kicking out of two. Oh, God. Got hit by one. Oh, Jack Knight powerbomb to Roddy Piper. Nope, I'm not letting you kick get him out, okay? You're not getting Roddy Piper out. Exactly. Roddy Piper's gonna get himself out. He's lining him up. Doesn't matter. Oh my god, Triple H is about to hit another pedigree on the Undertaker. Yeah, he tapped out to the sleeper hold. Yeah, Roddy Piper got the sleeper on him. And Diesel reversed me. I think Undertaker is about to take his last ride. Thank God Triple H is finally gone. You asshole. God damn it. No, I have no stamina. Boom, I missed. Right hand. Game, set, match, this All right, get in here, Rowdy. Dude, how does he keep doing that? That's what he was looking for, Michael. He's going for the yeah, I'll say, if, it, if I heard someone say that, I'd be like, no, Rowdy, Rowdy Piper, you son of a bitch. I said I was going to get him out. I didn't say when I was going to get him out. Really? You're not going to pin him in your ass? For me instead, are you retarded? God, you're fucking stupid, Diesel. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. I've been keeping myself safe. I've basically just been fucking people up this entire match. Doesn't typically happen with me, but I got lucky. Let's get that this HP shizzle. From the top. No Damn it, I want to hear Cole again. It's funny as hell. He says HP shizzle every time. Well, not every time, but a bunch of them. Team up the band. 
Sweet chin music. Boom. It's over. And a quick pin attempt by Shawn Michaels. Yes! Takes it! It's the only way that match should have ended. Right there. I know this six-man elimination chamber match is going to be the topic of conversation at many a dinner table tomorrow. Oops. Look at him go. Sexy boy. I'm not your boy. It's boy. boy. It's... I'm not easily impressed. He's just a sexy boy. It was one of the best boy. I've seen in a while. He's not your boy, Toy. Here is your winner and the new WWE Champion. The Boyhood Dream. The Heartbreak Kid. If only he did that every time he won the championship in this game, I'd love it. I'd be so happy. All right, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Championship Scramble. I'll see you in the next time, next one, not next time, in the next time, yeah, in the next one where we go for the WWE Championship Brahma Bull version. Stay golden. Peace.